Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to take your new network rover and fully set it up. Now, I'm gonna be using the GeoMeasure Nano 7 and Field Genius, the new multi-platform version, and I'll show you how to go from just completely out of the box, you've got your parts out, to getting it up and running with a fixed solution. So before we get started and start setting it up, I'll just tell you what you're gonna wanna have out and ready to go. You're gonna wanna have your RTK receiver. So I've got my rover here. You're gonna wanna have your data collector with Field Genius ready to go and then you're going to want a pull and a data collector mount to hold everything up. Now the other thing you're going to want to make sure is that you either have a sim card that's activated and ready to go inside of your receiver or what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running a hotspot on my phone to the data collector. So let's get everything set up and ready to go here. So I'm going to take my receiver here and put it on the pull. Now I always recommend to screw the pole into the receiver so that you kind of twirl the pull itself and screw it in there instead of turning the receiver. And that's because it's a lot easier to drop the receiver or fumble it when you're doing that rather than turning the pull into it. So it's a little bit safer and a little bit easier on your gear. You're then gonna wanna set your height. I already had my pull extended here. I like running it at 1.8 meters. It doesn't really matter. Just choose a height that works for you. And then we'll throw our data collector on the clamp here. Now I'm gonna get my hotspot going so that it's ready to go here. So I'm gonna turn that on and enable it. And once it's enabled on my my phone here I should see that it's connected on my data collector here and you can see in the top there it says I've got a good Wi-Fi signal so with that in mind let's now set up our receiver here so I'm gonna first turn it on make sure that it's booted up with the nano 7 you just press and hold it's the same with the hemisphere it's pretty much the same with all of them here so once it's been turned on and I'm gonna go into select instrument here and click on add profile because I'm gonna be creating a new profile today now I'm gonna want to make sure that I have GNSS rover selected and from my make here what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm going to scroll down and find the geo measure option so there it is i've got my model set to nano 7 already i can give this a name in my case i'm going to just call it the geo measure nano 7 network rover now with that set here i'm going to click on create and now set up my profile. So the first step is I'm gonna to have to initialize a Bluetooth pairing. So in my communication menu here, I'm gonna click on search. And what we should see is a device that pops up with the same name as the serial number on the bottom of your receiver. Okay. All right, so I can see it here on my menu. So I'm going to select it and click on connect where it should successfully pair to my device here. And once it's connected, we'll be taken back to our instrument setup screen. Okay. With my device connected here, the next step is to set up corrections. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing a network rover setup today. So I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I have RTK via internet selected. And then as I told you guys, I'm doing a data collector internet setup. So I've got a hotspot for my phone to the data collector. Alternatively, if you have that SIM card inside the receiver, you'll just select this GNSS mobile option from the menu. So with data collector selected, it tells me it's connected and ready to go. I'm gonna click on done. And then for setup data source here, I already have a profile set up. Now, if I don't have a profile, I'm just gonna click on add new source and type in my information. And if you're doing your network, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have your IP address for the network. So for something like Stormcaster, it's ntrip.stormcaster.net that we have a port. So in my case, I'm gonna be using 2104 for my setup, but it might be 2101 or 2100, something along those lines. And then a username and password for your setup. And I'll be honest, this is the most common issue we see is that guys get this with a typo they miss putting in information correctly and they wonder why their setup is not working. It's almost certainly down to the fact that they type out one of these pieces of information. So always double check it. But as I said, I already have my login information set up and in the data collector. So I'm gonna select it and click on done here and connect. And if all is going to go correctly, we're gonna be able to pull a list of our mount points here. And you're seeing my source table is just starting to load in now. And you're gonna wanna choose the one that's best for you. So Calg West is the one at our office here. So I'm standing about 20 feet away, but I could choose any of my other available options if one was better for me. So I've got CalGuest here, I'm gonna select it, and it's gonna ask me some information, what kind of message type do I want? I'm always gonna try to choose RTCM3 or the latest version of RTCM. For NMEA required, you can set this to yes if you're using a VRS network. In my case, I'm just using a regular point-to-point -point trip network. So I'm gonna leave that as no and click on confirm is again going to take me back to my instrument setup Mobile screen Mobile here Mobile and Mobile. if all's gone successfully your radio light should start to blink so on the nano 7 it's this guy on the 631 it's the second light from the Mobile left 
but you can even, if you heard it on camera there, it just told me it is fixed. So I know I've set that up correctly. So the next step here is to set up my antenna height. Now you have two different ways to measure your antenna height. And we're going to link to a video in the top right corner. David did a full breakdown on the Nano 7 on how to measure the HI. In my case, I know that my pole is calibrated for 1.8 meters to the bottom of my antenna mount. So where it screws into the pole here. So I'm just going to enter 1.8 zero meters, have bottom of antenna mount selected and click on OK. And it's super important to get your antenna height correct because if you get it wrong, you're going to have a real hard time calibrating your tilt sensor. So make sure you really do accurately measure that in. Then my final couple steps here, the first of which is to set up my tolerance. In my case, I'm just going to leave this as the RTK fixed topo for today's video. If you want to know how to customize your tolerances, we'll link to a video again in the top right corner where we give a breakdown of that on survey assistant. So I'm going to click on OK for my RTK topo and then set up my tilt correction. So I'm going to enable it by turning it on here. And you can see that it's ready to go and it says initialize IMU calibrate. So I'm going to click OK because I know it's ready for me to set up. And if I click done and survey, you're going to see here, I'm now on my map screen. It's giving me my tolerances. I've got six mils in the horizontal and about a centimeter in the vertical. And I've got it flashing in the bottom right corner here. It says RTK fixed and initialize IMU calibrate. So to calibrate my IMU sensor, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to hold the point on a point on the ground and we're going to rock it back and forth like this. And then kind of after 15, 20 seconds, We'll rotate it 90 degrees and rock it back and forth again. And if we look, we now in the top right corner have that fixed bubble with a green check mark and our RTK fix button isn't flashing anymore. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is show you guys how to take a point. So if I get Arden to follow me over here, let's say I'm collecting something like this sidewalk curb, or maybe I'm looking for a corner to actually record my point. All I have to do is walk up to where I want this point to be shot. So in this case, let's say it's this, corner of my curb here. I'm going to level, you know, just put the point on. I have my tilt sensor enabled, so I don't even have to level my pole. I'm just going to click on RTK fixed. You can see here it's counted my three points and automatically stored my point for me. So I can keep moving along here. Let's say I'm going to shoot this point, hit RTK fixed, and I'm good. And I can keep moving on and on and so forth and so forth. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is how you set up a network rover, an RTK network rover using Field Genius.